Hey guys, let's talk about a little question that was asked this week, and that was, in Savat, do you guys faint? Is there any feigning, any tactics that we can use in, in a combative situation? Well, there's two types of combative situations that I'm going to tell you that a saboteur is prepared for at all times. One sur surpasses the other, and that is the ring craft is going to teach you your, your savvy and how to recognize a body reaction and so on and so forth. Your self-defense techniques, your sets within Dance Ru Savat is going to teach you how to react to those attacks. But the physical movement of the body, you're going to pick it up by doing asso, by doing your enchantments, your reposts. Okay? Now, talk about tactics. Ring savvy. The person that taught me, taught me ring savvy was uh, uh, Professor Richard Sila. Period. He was the one that taught me how to fight in the ring. But the person who taught me how to observe everything was my professor, Paturel. Now, feints and those tactics, all three of them taught, taught me that. My other, my, and of course, my uncle, Isidro Champa, right? And you could pick up certain things from different clubs because different clubs at that point in time had different tactics or things that they would go with, right? Or their specialty. Um, I'm going to show you a couple now of how Savat grew up, how Savat changed, how it was a kind of, uh, how can I say, a way of moving within the ring, right? And here's a couple of them. Now you have a, a tactic is I'm going to set you up into a feint. I see you're doing something wrong, and I catch it, like you're blocking a certain way, a continual habit of that sense. So I'm going to set it up so when you make that, that same block, guess what's going to happen? I'm going to counter it with, with something that I fainted you into, or many people call it baited you into, right? So faints, people, are practiced inside the ring, are practiced within asshole, are practiced within sparring. Don't get those two confused because a lot of people say, no, my sparring is this and so on and so forth. No. Sparring and asshole are totally two different things. They're two different tools to build a, a saboteur, right? And that's what I'm talking about, Savat. I'm not talking about the other type of combatives or com styles of combatives, whether in the ring or not. So when you're training, you're going to learn your combinations, your enchantments. Your repos with your counters. And then you're going to learn certain things that when a person does a mistake, you can feign them into. Or you can feign them into something that you're very strong in, strong with. Like, in other words, I can move a certain way for him to strike a certain angle for me to counter-strike him. Understand my drift? So, yes, we do use feints. Yes, we use those type of tactics. Now... In the ring, it's a lot easier to catch because you have rounds that partake and you have people in the same zone of mind. In the street, feints and so on and so forth have to be rapid and you have to be able to catch that. And if you do not have the experience to catch those movements, the eye and your hand and all that coordination, you're not going to do well. So remember, those type of tactics arrive only after practicing hours, countless hours having that in muscle memory. Okay? And that's the only thing I can say about that. Enjoy. We have a couple of stuff that we've done. Peace. Till next time.